true, but let's bear in mind that this is a, a computerized process that spits out a whole bunch of numbers that are then interpreted, and we've actually run into something of an issue here because we have not had a chance since previous October to tune the lexicon, which is to clear out our mm -hmm. misses and refine all of these emotional mm -hmm. quantifiers, and that's kind of where we're run into as a giant bottleneck. We have to have to do maintenance on it. That's why we've just got to have downtime. But we're hoping to be well, more you, accurate you, when we come back. So, You talk about words, and I, and I suppose we need to kind of explain this, that if you take a, a, a word, say feeling, and feeling has an emotional value and an intensity, I suppose you assign that that word, and then also a durational value. So if you're looking at people's leaking what they're going to do in the future and you see your model shifting through time, then that gives you the uh, the clues to, like a weatherman, interpret the maps. Correct. It's kind of like seeing the low pressure start to form or the high pressure, whichever it is, that's going to be directing the, the weather traffic for a while. And, and basically, we can sum it up fairly easily for people that have never thought about language this way. But ask yourself, why is there slang? Why does language change? And it's because we have, as a generation... And as individual humans that go within that generation, the feelings that our emotional sets are not our parents' emotional sets, and therefore the words they use to describe themselves as teenagers, for instance, are not the words we use. And we need to make Thank new goodness. words to suit that. And so yeah. basically yeah. what I'm doing is uh, scanning for subtle changes in the use of language around pretty much standard conversations, because basically humans, you know, they just discuss the same stuff ad nauseum. But what's rather interesting is the shift in time of the words that creep in here and there. And these have a tendency to creep in, I discovered, at what I called archetype levels. And when I started tracking the archetypes, that's when we started getting a little bit more accurate. Give us an example of an archetype. Yeah, yeah, exactly, for our listeners who don't understand oh, Okay, an archetype, type, for instance, is uh, that's a constantly associated with the populace of the United States is military, because we okay. always have an active military out and about monkeying around on the planet. So we have the archetype of army, and within the archetype of army, there are contexts that go to the specifics of the army and, you know, in terms of logistics and so on. But there's also the other words that make up the broader, more uh, visceral, gut-level response to army, which is the patriarchy, the order, uh, order from chaos, and so on and so forth. So a context that is an archetype is encapsulated in the word army. And so basically what we do is we have the word army within our model space, within a larger collection of words that we've assigned the, the label of the populous U.S. of A. And as we shift model space forward day by day based on this weird little timing thing we worked out, new words mm -hmm. come in to support the existing context. And so we might see, for instance, that on Tuesday the word army, the archetype of army within the populace of the United States, had X number of thousands of words supporting it, and on Wednesday it had two or three times that amount. Well, then we know something's brewing with the military at some visceral level. Everybody's aware, tension-wise, they can feel it creeping up on the hairs in the, the middle of their back, uh, up into their skull, if they're so lucky to have hair on their skull. And it, and it comes back <laughs> and, um, and, and it has them all gripped there. And we know, for instance, because of the lead time and some some postulates that we've made over the years, George and myself and, and my assistant, uh, Igor, that uh, we we can make postulates about, okay, we think that these words that are coming in in support have a tendency to bring in these other archetypes under army, and therefore we can make a postulate or a prediction, a forecast, if you will, that the emotions leaking out now suggest that in this amount of time in the future, this kind of thing is going to pop up in the linguistics around uh, army within the global media stream. So here's where it gets tricky. We don't frequently, we don't get the actual description of the event in a way that, that, say, a prophet might get that, or a fortune teller. Rather, what we seem to get mm -hmm. are the words that you might read in the newspaper following the event. And so if the reporters and the newspaper and everybody got it wrong, we're likely to get it wrong in that same degree. Does that make sense? Uh, oh, that makes yeah. sense, yes. You, you, one recent... It, 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 uh, I was just going to say, Scott, ahead, it's, it, it, it's actually a little more complicated than even that because the way the sets are constructed, it, it's almost like having a, a huge three-dimensional scatter plot, 
and you can draw right. circles in any direction you want. Any orientation. So, yeah. Exactly. So it's like it's like one orientation might be looking horizontally across the room, another one might be looking down from the top. And and so it's how you how you lay out w- what we call the 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 meta layers, uh, the different set collections that help clarify what you're looking at. You uh, there was one alert that you had put out last spring, and it was a, a a wedding interrupted by a quake. Am I correct? <laughs> correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A- and. Uh, this we were event. almost absolutely positive on that one because that was the second time we'd received almost that ent- exact linguistic set, and the first time it proven out as being a uh, subset of the secondary aftershocks of Banda Achi. So therefore, we were able to make a fairly firm prediction or and forecast. That that quake happened on my birthday. <laughs> so oh, geez, was, uh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was my birthday. Yeah. So uh, and. and and what what was curious is uh, uh, we got the quake. I'm like, yeah, they got the quake right. And, and so it was a matter of waiting for the media stream to present us with the imagery that you had described, which was the wedding. Right. It and, came out and, about two weeks later, I believe. And, and I, I was thinking it was uh, George Bush's daughter's wedding. Oh, we thought that, too. Because it was the only wedding on the horizon that would fit the time frame that was going to have that high emotional content. We were shocked as anybody else when the pictures of that destroyed wedding Well, no, 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 George, I wasn't because I knew it was an archetype. And archetypes frequently Ah. express themselves in multiple different ways. (laughs) Oh, man. This just gets more and more fun. You want to uh, check out George's site, urbansurvival.com, halfpasthuman.com, and radioamerica, America with a K, dot com. Back in a bit. The world appears to be on the brink of collapse. Experts say a pinch of heirloom vegetable seed could soon be the most valuable resource on Earth because it will provide healthy food now and every year after. SurvivalistSeeds.com now has the heirloom garden seed time capsule, allowing you to store your seeds for the future anywhere, even underground, for 100 years. The heirloom garden seed time capsule can withstand three tons of weight, is 100% rodent proof, waterproof, and comes with a whopping 6,000 healthy vegetable seeds from 20 varieties that will grow anywhere in the USA. Unless you trust the government, the Heirloom Garden Seed Time Capsule and Heirloom Seeds from SurvivalistSeeds.com is your long-term food solution. Our competition charges $0.10 cents to $1.25 per seed for these same heirloom varieties. But you can now have a head of lettuce, a bundle of carrots, a basket of tomatoes, a giant watermelon, and 16 other varieties for about a penny a seed each. Be prepared. Buy your heirloom seeds today from SurvivalistSeeds.com and have food insurance for your family forever. Visit SurvivalistSeeds.com. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of the Don't Tread on Me radio show. Silver is mankind's oldest natural antibiotic. This very special mineral has been used for centuries by most cultures throughout the world. Utopia, Texas is home to a small but mighty supplement company called Utopia Silver, who offers colloidal products produced in distilled water without use of animal protein, nitrates, or saline solutions. Because our colloidal silver is made up of nano-sized particles, it can be better utilized at the cellular level, and germs can't mutate to be resistant like they can to modern-day antibiotics. Utopia Silver has a broad range of health supplements, including colloidal silver, gold, and copper, with a money-back guarantee on the colloidal products we produce. For four years, Utopia Silver has been fighting in the Texas courts against agencies that would steal our God-given rights of health care and freedom of speech. Visit us today at utopiasilver.com. That's U-T-O-P-I-A, silver.com. Or call 888-213-4338, 888-213-4338, and help us win this battle. You don't have to be in the military to enjoy military surplus savings. Right now at MainMilitary.com, you'll find savings on the top must-have military supplies. M10 gas masks for $12 or 3 for 30 Gas mask hoods, $4 or 3 for 10 Mask filters, $6 or 3 for 15 Save big on British chemical suits, only $12. Israeli gas masks, $20. Trigger finger gloves, $5 a pair or $36 a dozen. Snowshoe binding for $8 or $40. 
$48 a dozen, and so much more. Even hard-to-find surplus items, all at surplus prices. Preparing the whole family has never been so affordable at MainMilitary.com. MainMilitary.com, one of the last surviving true surplus stores in the country. Shop now at M-A-I-N-E Military.com or call 877-608-0179. That's 877 